Hallo, ich bin Claudia von Red Carpet Reports und Newscreen und ich habe hier Rick Astley bei mir, der heute sein neues Album vorstellen wird, 50. Rick. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. How are you? I'm very, very good. Yeah, I'm very good. Um, yes, I am 50. And um, uh, no, it feels good. I'm, I'm in a good space right now. Yeah, I'm very happy. 50 is your new album mm. and what you did the last years? Um, I, I've done, to be honest, the last 10 years, I've done a lot of concerts, yeah. um, all over the world really. I've been to South America a couple of times, and Australia and Japan, uh, South Africa, so, and obviously in Europe as well. Um, so yeah, a lot of gigging really, which has been really nice because obviously I haven't had a record out for a very long time, yeah. so, um, but it's still nice to actually get on a stage and sing those old songs and just kind of enjoy it, you know, so. Yeah, congratulations that you are back on stage. <laughs> I hope that you have a really happy, great time. And I want to know which track is your favorite track of your new album? I think that changes, to be honest. I think it changes. I think every artist says the exact same thing, that you, you wake yeah. up one morning and you might be a little bit bored of one of the songs because maybe if that's a single, you, you keep promoting that and hearing it, you know, so you want to, you know. Yeah. Um, I think it changes. Uh, Keep Singing, which is the first song on the album, I still really, uh, there's a few things about it. It was one of the first songs I wrote in this group of songs. And also it's very, very personal. It's kind of about the fact that singing has been good to me. And I, I kind of feel that obviously not, not singing for everybody, but if you keep doing something that you really love, the chances yeah. are it's going to give you something, you know, and singing has given me a lot in life. You know, it's, it's kind of, It's given me most of the best things in my life, to be honest. Aww. Yeah, it has. <laughs> and did you write all your songs on your new album? I did. I wrote it all. I played everything as well, and mm -hmm. I produced it all. So I've been busy. Um, I kind of wanted the challenge of it, really. I, I've got a great band who are like really great musicians, yeah. way better than I am. Um, but I kind of felt that it would be really, it would make it my record as yeah. well. And um, so I have a studio at home and. Again, that process has been great because I've only been in there to work and do mm -hmm. stuff when I wanted to. And a lot of the time, if you've got a studio booked for two months and you have to make a record, in a way, that's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? You, you wouldn't, I'm sure maybe painters sometimes have to finish a painting, but you, you, you'd like to think that they go in there to paint yeah. when they want to paint. You know what I mean? And I think that should be the same process with, with making a record, but it's not always the case because if you book the studio, You have to go in there and you have to sing and you have yeah, to play because yeah. that's it, you know. So so it's been kind of nice to do it at home and kind of do it, you know, initially I did it just myself mm. and then went and started talking to record labels to see if anybody wanted to release it. So, and somebody did. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you want to take away from your new album to the people? Um, I mean, for me personally, yeah. um, I've just really, like I say, I've really enjoyed the process. It's nice to have some new songs to sing yeah. on tour because we just toured in the UK and that was really nice. But also I think it's that thing that social media is so strong in every artist's life. Yeah, yeah. It's massive. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if people tell you that they want a new record and they keep saying it, then eventually you start to believe them a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that, I think for me, has been quite a tough thing, if I'm honest, because you know, I'm middle-aged, I'm getting on a bit, um, <laughs> and I didn't really feel that, you know, you kind of feel your space in music has gone, really. I mean, people love the old songs, but to do something new, that kind of time is gone. So you need some confidence to do it, to actually, to go into a room and say, I've got a new record. That's quite a hard thing to do. You've got to really believe it, you know? And I think that social media, the people who come to the concerts and fans and what have you, have kind of given me some of that confidence, you know? So in a way, it's it's been like a, an exchange really they give me confidence i give them a record you know so awesome yeah and um da, da, da. i wrote these questions by the way <laughs> that's why that's why she keeps looking at them because i wrote them yeah we will cut yeah. <laughs> um, don't cut that bit, yeah. that bit. <clears throat> when you go on tour how yeah. do you feel about performing your old songs never gonna give you yeah, up yeah yeah um, to be honest, they are a bit of a security blanket. Security. Do, you know, do you know what I mean by that? You know, yeah. when the kids have a little blanket. Um, because I know they were hits. I know they were big songs. And, you know, I'm never going to give you, obviously, it's the biggest one. And that is kind of, you know, it's had like a, re, uh, a rebirth, if you like, on the internet with different things, yeah. Rick Rollin and stuff. 
So I always know that wherever I go in the world, literally wherever I go in the world, people know that song. Um, so it's kind of nice to have that in your pocket when you sing yeah. it. And I, I view my songs, really, I, I've, I've used those as kind of like little gems, you know, like little things that, um, that I can rely on almost. Because playing new songs to people is tough. It really is, you know what I mean? Because it's like you've got to get them involved. Mm, yeah. um, but the old ones, they're, they're, that's easy. And whenever I do shows with other people, other artists, so there might be like 10 artists on a, on a festival or something, um, like a retro style thing. I think, I think to some degree, I think we all have that thing where you kind of, you know, this is an afternoon of hits. And that's in its own way is pretty special. I know you can also view it as being a bit cheesy, but I also think it's pretty special because you're just going to get an afternoon of like hit songs. You know what I mean? And that's, <laughs> an afternoon with Rick Astley. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, but not just my songs. I mean, everybody's. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And and very often I stand by the side of the stage and I watch some of those artists because I bought their records. You know, I, I was a fan of some of the people that I now sing with. You know, share the stage with. And I think that's pretty crazy. That's that's kind of um, that's a bit special. I think you know. I didn't necessarily think when I was twenty one that you know twenty five years later I'd be sharing a stage with Kim Wilde or Level Forty Two or ABC or or any of those guys. And when I do that, I really kind of enjoy it and I appreciate it for what it is. You know what I mean? For one, we're all still alive. You know what I mean? It's like, so yeah, yeah, you're still alive and yeah. you look so great. Oh, so. you're a lovely woman. No, you you have a very busy lifestyle. So what? I do right now, yeah, yeah. What do you do for your health? Um, ah, oh <laughs> no, you're <talking> virtually <laughs> virtually nothing. Um, uh, I did actually go to the gym last night in the hotel. Oh, great! Yeah, which is a bit a bit strange. So. Um, but I did go to the gym last night. Um, I got there at about 9.30 and the gym closed at 10. So I thought, right, oh, there's no excuse. 30 minutes. I've got 25 minutes. It's better than nothing. Better than nothing. You, you that's said, right, you said that's that as right. if you go to the gym yeah. for two hours a day. Do you go to the gym? Um, I'm going to the gym every day. Every day? Okay. Yeah. How long? In the morning. For how long? Um, 30, 40 minutes every morning. Okay, all right. You're young, you see. When you get to my age, you can't go in there for hours. You just have to, <laughs> just little bursts, you know what I mean? And, um, so you are going just to the gym or do you do something for your nutrition or? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm married to a, a Danish woman. Ah, and okay. Danes, I think, are pretty good when it comes to eating healthy food. I mean, they also do eat um, <laughs> sausages as well, but... Um, but they're pretty good with food, I think. And um, so we eat pretty healthy at home, I think. Um, but I do like a glass of wine, though, which is a bit of a problem sometimes. But, you know. No, it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's not, it's, um, it's not great for singers, alcohol, of any description, really. So if I'm singing, no, I try. No smoking. Yeah. Well, I've never smoked, but I try not to drink when I'm singing because it's just, you think it's a good idea, but it's not a good idea. Ah, when you're on stage and you. Yeah. It's just not Fears, a good idea. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it's <laughs> it just was not, too much. It's not a good idea. <laughs> so the next question is also for the um, Green Lifestyle magazine okay, for yeah. New Screen. Sure, yeah. And I want to know what do you think what we can do more for save our environment? Um, I, you see, I have a thing about the environment that is that surely burning fossil fuels and doing all of that is, can't be a good thing. It doesn't make any sense. And we've got the technology to change it. We've already got it. You know, yeah. there's so many electric cars. Um, it's just going to take a long time. Yeah. But also yeah. the other thing is, is that the Western world, as we call it, you know, we've been doing that for a couple of hundred years, and yet we're expecting the new emerging superpowers, if you like, to say, okay, we'll be green straight away as well. Yeah. And they're kind of not going to do that quite as quickly. Do you know what I mean? Because they're going to, well, you did it, you did it, and so we've got a lot of problems there, I think. Um, but I do think the consciousness of normal people is completely different now yeah. we're all so aware of it now it's it's normal to put something plastic in that that trash can rather than that one it's normal to actually you know think about um anything to do with burning fossil fuels or any of that kind of thing people have just got it in their consciousness you know um i still think it's just going to take time and and as with most things it's probably going to take some money as well. And maybe we yeah, need to think yeah. about what we're going to spend yeah. money on. Do you know what I mean? Because um, I think, I mean, politics, don't get me started on politics, but um, <laughs> but the amount of money that gets, you know, that it takes 
to run the whole political world that we have. If we took 10% of that, we could probably do an awful lot of other great things. Do you know what I mean? So it's always a bit of a it's always a bit of a chicken and egg situation, I think, where you know we need the right people making those decisions, but maybe less of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. What can you tell us about the upcoming Rick Astley shows in UK? Um, I, I've, we've just done a tour in the UK, actually, but uh, the next time I play there uh, I'm by myself will we'll be next year in 2017. But yeah. hopefully we're going to come. Uh, all over Europe and do gigs. Mm -hmm. So obviously we'll come to Germany. Um, we hope so. No, it's a definite. <laughs> that's we will be coming, even if I have to drive myself here and we just you know turn up in my car and do it. We're coming. Um, it's just a question of when. Um, I'm going to America twice actually before uh, autumn um, to spend awesome. a couple of weeks. Uh, just for a couple of weeks mm -hmm. in uh, in August and in in also in October as well, mm -hmm. um, but also I'm going on holiday in September, ah. so um, <clears throat> so we've got to fit in some shows somewhere, um, and obviously I'm going to play my old songs. I would never just come and play new songs. That would be ridiculous. Yeah, I'm always I'm always <laughs> so yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm always going to play my old songs, and um, and I kind of you know I think that's the right thing to do anyway. But I also actually I enjoy it so. And like I say, they are my memories, and they are my—they're the thing, they're the songs that are kind of given me the opportunity, in a way, to actually make more music. Because if I was a fifty-year-old guy with a new record, <laughs> no one would talk to me. They talk to me because I had the hits, right? Yeah. And right. now I make a new rock up record, and they're okay to talk to me about it. Yeah. So that's the truth of it. Red Carpet reports a new screen. Wish you all the best for your new album and have a wonderful and great time. Thank, thank you, you to take your time to speak to me today. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you. That's the token bit of German at the end. Yeah. Bye. Merci. Oh, merci, is it? Yeah. <laughs>